All right, welcome back. Anyway, if this is your first time joining us, glad to have you. But anyway, now I'm working on, um, I got my lubricant going. What's it waiting on? I think it's full. Okay, yeah, it's full. So anyway, I had to get my lubricant because I needed the electric engines for the, um, I think Purple Science. Let me, uh, let me make sure. I've been doing, no, no, yellow. Yeah. Yeah, I've been doing so much science this lately, it's kind of all run together. But anyway, I got this going. And so I said I'd make a video. Let me, let me show you what I've got so far. All right, it's kind of easy to see. The science is right here. So I got a red science build. Oh wait, there we go. All right, so here goes my red science build. And with this, it's doing 50, 50 red science packs a second. So that's 3,000 a minute. And I've got, let's see, 20. 20 assemblers of gear wheels and 200 assemblers for the science packs so yeah basically the, uh, the iron goes in makes gear wheels and then it goes and mixes with two two uh, belts of co copper and then it goes up and I mean this is a simple build it took a while to do just because I had like figure up you know how many I wanted per side and all that so like how many sections I wanted to divide it in so this is divided into two sections so yeah that took a little while and then now my green science and this one took a little while I knew I needed um, 240 240 assemblers of green science and let's see if I still have my numbers right here Okay, yeah, 240 green science assemblers. I needed 20 belt inserters and 10 belt assemblers. I got rid of all my evidence, but I tried and tried and tried. And um, I'm real helpful for uh, Dragon. He, he really helped me through chat while I was building this. So anyway, there's a shout out. But I finally decided to come up with this because I couldn't get, I couldn't get the, uh, the gears how I wanted them and the uh, the gears the belts and the inserters to look good so anyway I come up with this design after like probably six different tries of doing it I was like why don't I just direct insert since the, the ratios work out pretty good let's see um, yeah the ratios worked out pretty good so anyway this also is doing 50 per second. All right, and then here we go to the, uh, the military science. I don't know what that's doing there. So anyway, on the military science, well, I can show you on the ratio right here. I needed 200 military science assemblers, 60 piercing round assemblers, uh, 20 firearm magazine assemblers, 160 grenades, and 20 walls. So here's what I, I designed for it. I wanted two different modules, so I basically divided everything by two. And then, so yeah, here is, 15, 15 assemblers for the um, for the armor piercing, and then five, and then five walls, and it's mirrored over here. And all of this goes up into all of this goes up into the main little bus or whatever of this. And so there's the uh, there's the military science build, and it's there is a little problem I'm doing just under 50 science per per second it's real close and i'm probably gonna have to uh get rid of some of these um some of these uh splitters to make it happen so i'll uh, i'll definitely see about that let me see where's my green yeah 
Yeah, I'm not sure. I might have to do a little playing around with that, but the design is right. The ratios are right. It's just, uh, you know, I'll have to uh, really look it over. But everything's running continuous. I don't see, I've watched it run for a little while. Well, what are you waiting on? Walls. Let me see something right quick. Um, this might help. Oh, wait. Let me do the whole thing. All right, so I'm putting out 25 walls a second, and I need 25. Okay, so yeah, everything should be good as far as the walls go. I need 12.5, I got 12.5. I need 12.5 grenades, I got 12.5, and I need 12.5 um, firearm magazines, and I got 12.5 there. So, like I said, the ratios are right. Um, I'm not exactly sure. <laughs> not exactly sure what's going on. This should be 12.5 right here. So, yeah, 12.5. So, it's not an issue with the belt. Um, it's not an issue with the belt um, being too full. Anyway, that's something I can check out later. Well, we're, we're full here. Yeah, we're full. We're full on this side. It might need, and we're full up here. So I'm not sure. It might need to just, it might need to just run run for a little while. So yeah. But everything looks good. Okay. So yeah. Like I said, we're we're just under fifty fifty a second. Alright and then I came to a crossroads when it came to blue science. Because I tried and tried and tried to get the engine units. I needed 400 for the chemical science, and then I needed 133.4 for the uh, utility. And so I decided to go ahead and do the uh, the engine units by themselves. So let's see, where's the engine unit build? It is right, right here. And so this build right here is, let me see, it is 534 assemblers. And then here's the second part of it. This, I'm not sure if I'm gonna put it down here, if I'm gonna put it to the side and then move everything. I haven't made up my mind, but anyway. Um, here's 84 assemblers. We got 54 making pipe and 30 making gears. So there's that. And then that made the science, the blue science, really easy. Oh, that's why that ain't running. Okay. I forgot to I forgot to set it to uh, remove unfiltered items. So it was all packed up. But anyway, here's my blue science, and that made it really easy because instead of trying to put um, let's see. I mean, did I say I needed, where's that, right here? Instead of putting 400 in engine unit assemblers up under this, I mean, uh, up under this one, it's easier putting it off to the side. Plus, 
I could do the 400, but then I'd have to, I had my problem right here with my belts. I mean, my, uh, my gear wheels and my pipe, trying to get it to look good with this. So there's that. But anyway, so yeah, there's my blue science build. And yeah, I like it. I kind of like it with it, with it all full like that, with all the blue and red and yellow and browns. I know, it looks good. So then my next part I was working on was um, Purple Science. And I can't think of what the name of it is right now. I think it's production. Let me, uh, let me wait for this auto save and we'll see. All right, it is production. All right. And that's not it, or was it? Okay, yeah, here's where I got so far on it. And I really don't like the design I have. Um, so, so far the design is 200, 200 assemblers making production modules. And then I have 70, so 140, 140 um, assemblers making purple science and 50 making rails. And then I got this mess down here and while it's all right, it's gonna take a lot of belts. So this is gonna have to move down. I'm gonna have to run a ton of belts through here. So I'm not sure, and this is only half by the way. I'm gonna have to uh, basically do something like that also so yeah so this is one design and like I said I don't really like this at the bottom uh, it's gonna have so many so many belts I'm not sure if I'm gonna do some of this stuff off to the side or not I might I haven't really made up my mind but anyway and so I tried just to kind of isolate the uh, the purple science on the rails I did something like this and I was I thought I had it until I realized that I need, well, I'll show you. It's fine at 25 per second right here. Although it is too much for, for one lane, which is what I need because I'm putting purple sides on the other lane. So my problem really messed, or my problem really happened whenever I, uh, I did this and I had 50. So I don't have blue belt, I don't have green belts. I kind of wish I had a mod for green belts, but I don't. So anyway, I gotta deal with this. So either way, I'm gonna have too many. So I decided to, uh... oh yeah. So one of my options was to do something along the lines of just taking this row and then, you know, like I have right here, I don't know what that's there for. Basically, basically doing this number right here. And let me go ahead and do this. Uh, right there. And yeah, basically doing something like this. Actually, I don't need that if I do it that way. Okay. Yeah, basically doing something along the lines of that. So, and then doing that however many times I need. And that'll work. Yeah, that would definitely work. But also, I got to thinking, why couldn't I do this? And... Like I said, Dragon gave me this idea again. So, um, let's see. Three, four, there we go. It's basically just direct and certain. And that's probably going to be the option I go with. 
Basically, I'm gonna take this design right here, put it up and see how I like it. And if I don't like it, that's fine. If I do like it, that's fine too. So yeah, we'll, uh, we'll just see how that works. But anyway, I'll probably design that today. And then tonight, I'm gonna to try to get my um, yellow science. And then Sunday, I'm gonna to try to get space science, which will be easy. I need 18, 18 rockets, uh, rocket silos. And then get my lab set up, and I should have the uh, the save game on my Discord by tonight or by tomorrow night. So yeah, we'll see. Um, or it'll actually be Monday morning, but uh, I got to set up real late anyway. So uh, tomorrow night. So yeah, that's uh, that's my few options I have. I can't go with this design where I was gonna you know move everything up a row and all that. So anyway, like I said, I'll probably I might just. I might do this. I just kind of want to see how it looks before I... Um, hold on. Yeah. So I might do that. I'm not sure. Or I might do direct insertion. Basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to do both, both ways and kind of look at both of them and, and maybe get my chat to help me out and see which one they like better. That's probably what I'm going to do. But anyway, that's where we stand so far. I just wanted to give you all an update after I built some sciences, and I'm getting close to the end of this playthrough. And like I said, I'm going to more than likely release the map uh, Sunday and then on my Discord Sunday night, probably Monday morning technically, and uh, then we'll, um, we'll go from there. But I should be done with this playthrough. Because um, after I get the sciences get, get up and running, I gotta make outposts and then I gotta um, do some cleaning up. And then after I do the cleaning up, I'll, um, I'll be done. And then I'll probably go ahead and start the server up. and uh, just start something on there. So if you have any ideas of, like if you wanna join the server, um, I'm gonna open it up to, when I get 500 subs, just members, I'll probably charge like a dollar a month, but that'll that'll just help offset the cost of the server I'm gonna rent. So I mean, that's, you know, that's all. But open it up to YouTube members and Twitch subs whenever I get them. So yeah. Um, and like I said, that that's just going to help offset the cost of the uh, the uh, server that I'm going to rent. But anyway, yeah, I'll go ahead and start that server up probably. And um, let me know if you if you want any mods, if you want to do space exploration or Crastorio, or if you just want to keep it vanilla um, whenever we start the server. I'd uh, I'd like to hear your input. I've never done space exploration and so that i think that's going to make the um the uh expansion real fun because i've never I, I know it's i know they're not alike but i know they do have the same developer from space exploration to space age so um there's going to be probably a decent amount of carryover but i'm sure he wants to keep his own you know mod uh relevant also but you know just he'll have to update some stuff but anyway um, yeah, like I said, if you want to do, if you want to do a mod pack or, you know, a completely vanilla run on the server and you plan on joining, um, yeah, just let me know and I will uh, see you on the next one. All right. Have a good one.